So, uh, Jack and I had a bet, and it's all really confusing. I don't remember the outcome or what it was even about, but I think it somehow led to him shaving and me cutting my hair. Please let us know if you have any information. It's, it's a very confusing time for the both of us. With dual camera setups featured on the LG G5, Huawei P9, and now the iPhone 7 Plus, Qualcomm is starting to think that two cameras could be more of a regular thing on phones. That's why they've developed ClearSight, a dual camera package that manufacturers can add to phones or tablets running a Snapdragon 820 or 821 processor. This will make it easier for phone manufacturers to add a dual camera setup since Qualcomm is already taking care of most of the process. Where the iPhone 7 Plus uses a second camera for enhanced zooming, Qualcomm would use it to enhance image quality, especially in low light. This is possible since the first camera has a color sensor and the second is black and white. So when you take a picture, both images can be merged together to create one of much higher quality. It's wonderful, really. The world we live in. At TechCrunch Disrupt San Francisco, George Hotz, the famous iPhone and PlayStation hacker, presented his product, Comma One. The first product from his automotive AI startup, Comma.ai, Comma One is an autonomous driving aftermarket device. It will be available by the end of this year, costing $999, requiring a $24 monthly subscription fee to access software, and according to Hotz, will be on par with Tesla's autopilot. He says it will get you from Mountain View to San Francisco without touching the wheel, brake, or gas. I'm no Californian, folks, but Google Maps says that's about an hour drive. So that's pretty good. Well done. Like Tesla's autopilot, Comma One uses a front-facing camera and radar, and Hot says it can easily be installed by consumers. Apparently, he was supposed to work with Elon Musk in the past, but stood him up when Elon basically wanted to buy the technology out. Check out the video of him at the conference below. It reminds me quite a bit of uh, Silicon Valley, actually. Like the... Like the, uh, the TV show, Silicon Valley. But also, I suppose it reminds me a lot of, of Silicon Valley, the place as well, because that's where, that's where, yeah. It's... Yesterday, Adblock Plus launched a service to show you more ads. More like ad not block. <laughs> but yeah, the idea is to replace bad ads, aka the ones that are big, ugly, and annoying, with ones that are more subtle and hopefully less annoying. This allows blogs and website operators to pick and choose the ads they deem unacceptable and replace them with better ones. So if a visitor using Adblock comes to the page, they'll be shown those more acceptable ones. The thing is, Adblock was supposedly in partnership with Google and AppNexus to provide these more suitable ads, except for the fact that they actually weren't. Or, well, that's what Google and AppNexus have said, indicating that they found out about this announcement from the press. So they have now severed their relationship with Adblock Plus. Hmm. Classic misunderstanding. I'm sure they'll work it out. It's time for... Shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Why, thank you, Codemaster Dumbfing. If you would like to submit something like that to us to be featured at this portion of the show, then send us a tweet. Microsoft has brought the desktop app converter to the Windows Store, making classic Win32 apps like Evernote available on Windows 10. Facebook, Twitter, and other tech companies have joined forces to prevent fake news from being disseminated. After Facebook's new algorithm failed, it looks like they once again have to rely on real live human beings. The downfall of civilization. Squanch Tendo Games, the VR studio started by Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland, have launched their first game called Accounting. There's a trailer that's super weird and trippy and features a lot of F-bombs and I look forward to trying it out. Google Maps now has a speed limit sign that shows up in the bottom corner of the screen. So if you're using your phone illegally while driving, at least now you won't also be speeding. Two wrongs don't make a right, but one wrong makes a second wrong not happen. No, that's not right. And MSI and EK Waterblocks got together and made a fancy looking water cool GTX 1080 for MSI's 30th anniversary. All of the links for today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description below. Este canale parero os apresentadores sao extremamento 
en gracaros y disponibilizar sabnados noticias relevantes. Ooh, Barracuda. That's right, Barracuda. You could have yourself your very own 10 terabyte Barracuda drive from Seagate's new Guardian series. We are giving one away for this month's fans with benefits, so make sure to comment on any video from September and you could have yourself one of these 10 terabyte drives from Seagate. I don't know if you know, but 10 terabytes is a lot of space, like... It's a lot of space. I can't wrap my head around it. The possibilities, they're, they're endless. Anyways, uh, if you want to learn more about this, uh, you can click right over there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, click there for to learn more about the Guardian series. And uh, yeah, get 10, uh, get 10 terabytes. Ah! That's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Click over here for Twitter, for our Twitters, the people. And uh, comment below for uh, fans with benefits. And like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and do all those sorts of things. But look, I've been Rocket Leaguing for a while, uh, and I'm pretty good, but I've got a lot of uh, catching up to do on Overwatch now, and I'm pretty bad. But it's still fun. Riley's too intense, though. He yells at me. Yeah. All right, bye.